All right, let's talk. We've got so much to talk about. Halloween, Election Day. We've got the clocks turning back. We've got a storm oh, coming, right. snow. It's everything. Everything is taking yeah, place. All at once. i got so many graphics to show you. It's unbelievable. <laughs> let's start off with Election Day, because I know many of you are wondering, hey, what's the weather going to be like for me to get out to vote? looks pretty good at this point. 6 a.m., it's going to be chilly, 35 to 40. We've lowered the temperatures a little bit, 45 to 50 for daytime highs. And 8 p.m., the polls close. It'll be 40 to 45. So you're going to need a jacket as you head into the polls, but uh, you can leave the umbrella home. The, at this point, we still have like six to seven days to go. All right, our Channel 3 early warning dual pole radar scanning the state wet. We've got a little bit of uh, moderate moisture coming down in North Woodstock and East Woodstock. Be careful driving around this morning. You can see the rain is enveloping the state. You've got it over 395 in Plainfield. Good morning to you. A little bit of wet weather there, and we'll take you on over to uh, Southwest Connecticut, Sherman, New Milford, Bridgewater, Brookfield, New Fairfield. You guys are all getting wet as well. This is moving from west to east, so everybody, even in South East Connecticut, where I know it's not raining right now. It will be. Old Saybrook, good morning to you. We're doing okay there. New London, it's still dry in New London, which is good news. And we'll take you to the skyline of Hartford. We do have a little bit of rain in the greater Hartford area, so please be careful. This is Hartford looking out at the suburbs. We're just under mostly cloudy skies with a few passing showers. So morning showers certainly to greet us. Temperatures are cooperating. No snow this morning. But by Friday morning, it's going to be a different scenario around here as some colder air starts pouring into the state, and we're going to be dealing with precipitation. 46 right now at Bradley, 48 at Brainerd, 52 in New Haven. This number is 14 degrees above where we should be. 38 is the number that should be on this map. It's 52 in New Haven. So you still need a jacket. Don't get me wrong. It's still raw. You got this wind, a little bit of a breeze. Not substantial, but there is a little bit of a gentle breeze out of the northeast, which is uh, never a favorable direction for us. Partial clearing later this afternoon. We're talking about one, two, three o'clock this afternoon. Uh, we are expecting that partial clearing to take place. But in the meantime, our regional radar, you can see the rain moving in from west to east. So we do have showers out there for you this morning. You've got some of the colder temperatures up to the uh, north of us, a little bit of a mix there. But for us, it's just plain old rain. The temperatures are way too mild. But we've got another four, five, six, seven hours of this rain that has to make its way across the state. All right, so partial clearing later this afternoon and then rain and snow for Thursday and Friday. It'll start off as rain and transition over to snow. Here's future cast tomorrow's weather today. By noon, we start to see some gradual clearing. The rain comes to an end for northwest and southwest Connecticut. And then by 5 p.m., we're under partly cloudy skies. Tonight will be clear for a little bit, but then the clouds quickly roll back in. 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, it's completely cloudy. And then here comes that rain. It's going to rain heavily tomorrow, real heavy. Uh, this is through the day and right on into 7 p.m. tomorrow night. All rain, no snow tomorrow. Watch what happens, though. This is Thursday at 7 p.m. Thursday night at 10 o'clock. Watch what happens. The snow starts making its way in for Friday morning's commute. This is northern Connecticut at 5 a.m. on Friday morning. Mixed precipitation, and then the snow kind of envelops the state. This is 745. This is 10 o'clock. It's still snowing. And then uh, by 1 and 2 o'clock, it's still snowing, and then it quickly goes away. And then Friday, we see some clearing in the late afternoon. But uh, it's not to say we're not going to get some snow around here. This is above 600 feet of elevation, 1 to 4 inches of snow in northwest and northeast Connecticut, coating to an inch on the grassy surfaces in the greater Hartford area, uh, grassy surfaces on, in the greater Hartford area, and then little to none along the shoreline. Daytime highs today climb into the mid 50s, if not the upper 50s, morning rain giving way to partial clearing. And then we've issued an early morning weather alert for that time period, Thursday into Friday. The weekend coming up looks great, but it's going to be cool on Halloween, a high of only 48 degrees. And Sunday, scattered showers developing in the afternoon, and then Monday and Tuesday, cool.